today we will be talking about the Battle Pass of Pentagon 3D, whether you should buy it or whether you should not buy it. So we'll be going over everything in the past. This video is short, but this isn't the first video I recorded on this. I actually tried to record a first video, but that video crashed when I was talking about the lottery. So this video will only be talking about the Battle Pass. So I will skip ahead to the Battle Pass, and I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, this is the Battle Pass. The first weapon you start off with is the Ambush Crocker Rifle, which is a sniper. Legendary. Please load and don't crash. It's sniper legendary, single shots of bleeding, target mark, fire rate 89, capacity 11, mobility 55. As a sniper, it's the first weapon you can get along with Mr. Bite. You get 60 bad credits, 50 gems, 15 coins, then a mythic egg. You get two novice sets at level 4. You also get a 80 battle credits and 20 coins at level 5. Another novice chest and, and another one after that at level 6 and 7 along with 60 battle credits. And some parts for the bubble slasher. We'll talk about that at the end. 30 coins, 50 gems. A vacational baggage which you could use for a glider. It's going to be one of those really small gliders so you can hide with this. Sand toy maker. Novice chest. And another one. At level 10, 40 coins, more 50 parts for the bubble slasher, 60 battle credits, the sun rays trail, which can be used in battle royale, or in a glider mini game as well. Two more novice chests at level 13, a fighter chest at level 14, along with 40 coins, 680 battle credits, 50 gems, and you get the vacational girl skin at level 16. I think you always get the skin at level 16. This is one of the better girl skins that they've introduced. I personally think that the Desperate Russian skin is better though. The Summer Van is a card that you can use in Battle Royale or you can use it in the mini games if you play mini games at all. 50 coins, 50 gems. At level 17, 10 gems and, and 80 battle credits at level 18. A novice chest and. Oh my god. A novice chest. And 15 and 50 bubble slasher parts at level 20 you get 50 coins a novice chest so you get a lot of no novice chests this season next level you get 15 gems and dolphin woolly then you get a fighter chest then you get the summer flowers trail which can be used in battle royale 80 battle credits and 50 gems at level 23 novice chest At level 24, along with an inflatable banana. You also get 180 battle credits at, this, at level 25. So you get 180 battle credits at level 25. 25 coins to 50 gems at level 26. 25 gems at level 27. 100 battle credits at level 27. Wait, I said that wrong. Yeah, they're both at the same level. Mythic Egg, Fighter Chest at level 28. You get the Boy with the Duck at level... 29 and get a 50 gems at 20 at level 29 as well and get a winning chest and fit and the last 100 parts for the bubble slasher which is a special mythical looping shot slows down the target area damage fire rate 74 capacity 7 mobility 55 and that's the end weapon let me just see if i'm still recording yes same time this is always same same 200 gems and 300 coins same challenges for Battle Royale. Same challenges for um the season, I'm sorry. They call them tests now, they don't call them challenges. But it's the same as it was before, except for team fights is chief six first six first places instead of achieving seven. And at the end you get the Skies rifle with the automatic X-ray ammo restore. I think that may lead to you having infinite ammo if you try. And fire rate 98, capacity 30, and mobility 65. It's a primary, the last weapon you get, but it's going to be hard to get. Undercover agent, along with the surf, the surfer daggers. The surf daggers, which are a shovel. So I don't think you should get this season, but if you want to get this season, you can. I would say you should get this season and also try to grind out the lottery. So you can get the maximum amount of stuff. 
if you're not able to grind out the lottery, I wouldn't recommend that you get this season. But I would say you should, you should, you could get the season for the weapons. But if you're trying to get the next season after it, it's probably not worth it. So I would say, guys, that you shouldn't buy the season unless you really, unless you, unless you really like it. So, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a very short video, and I hope it doesn't crash because I have to do it all over again. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.